Hi, this is Anthony Parent of Parent, Parent, and Win LLP, the IRS medic. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why it is so easy to be convicted of a tax crime. Now, I don't want to be alarmist because if you look at the statistics, it's something like 15% of all taxpayers are in non-compliance and are at risk of prosecution. Now, there's millions of people in non-compliance, yet the IRS only seeks indictments for about 3,000 people a year. So what does this mean? It means that while your risk is low, if you do get an indictment, things look really bad. If the IRS starts an investigation against you, there's a significant chance that they'll seek an indictment. And did you know that in 94.4% of the cases, the IRS gets a grand jury to give them back an indictment? Now, what happens when you're indicted? Well, did you know there's a 93.7% chance that once you're indicted, you'll get a conviction, either through a guilty verdict or plea guilty? So why is the court stacked in the IRS's favor? Well, let's think about it. On your tax return, it's required that you're supposed to sign your return, and you're responsible for everything on that return even if somebody gives you bad advice, even if you don't understand the law fully. So it's easy for the IRS to get a conviction against you. Also, the cost of mounting a real defense is significant. It runs into the hundreds of thousands of dollars to put yourself in the best position to win against the IRS. So how do you avoid an IRS indictment? Well, the important thing is to stop playing the indictment lottery. If you are in non-compliance, get into compliance. If you have unfiled tax returns, file them or enter into a voluntary disclosure program if an attorney advises you to do that. If you're seeking a tax shelter, remember, you're ultimately responsible. And here's the thing. The person most likely to testify you in a tax shelter case is the person who probably sold you the tax shelter. So be careful. Do your research. If you do owe the IRS money, get into a collection alternative. Now, what happens if you're presented with an indictment? To mount a serious defense, a defense the Department of Justice will respect, it's going to cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're going to need attorneys who know how to beat the IRS. You're going to need local counsel in the courthouse that you're prosecuted in, you're going to need experts to testify on your behalf. And if you really want to maximize your chances of a victory, you'll want to run mock trials with mock jurors. There you can learn a whole bunch of great information on how jurors actually think. A significant problem is that there are many people out there who pose as criminal tax attorneys, and many of them have big names, but if you look at their resume and you actually see what cases they take to trial, it's not a lot. And the Department of Justice knows who they are, so they know they're not a significant threat. They know they can offer a pretty crappy plea deal, and that attorney will twist your arm to accept it. Also, the Department of Justice knows that your attorney may have been the one who suggested your tax scheme or turned a blind eye to it. And you could see that then your attorney has every incentive in the world to get any liability off of them and make you liable by having you accept a plea deal you shouldn't. Something to consider is that the world is not fair. The people are selected. The IRS rules by intimidation and fear, and they can't go after everybody, but they will go after some. And now who's sitting in that jury box? Is it somebody like you? Somebody who works for themselves? Somebody who may have big fluctuations in income? No, more than likely, the juror is gonna look at the IRS as the good guys. They're the ones that on every April 15th, they send them a refund check or maybe even an earned income check. And they couldn't have any understanding why you would have difficulty understanding the tax. Taxes are simple. You sign a form, you get a check back, right? Well, that's what you're dealing with, and that's what you need to overcome. A lot of jurors have no idea that an attorney, a CPA, could give you bad advice. A lot of jurors have no idea how the federal courts are stacked against you. The jurors have no idea that the judges will favor the IRS and Department of Justice. 
jurors think that outcomes, like this O.J. Simpson verdict, are routine. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Jurors have no idea how this trial is turning your life inside out and upside down. So you have two possible protections. One is hope Lady Luck is your guardian angel. And if she is, you have nothing to worry about. If, on the other hand, you're a little bit unsure, look, get into compliance. If you are not in compliance, do so. We have seen, and I have personally seen cases that weren't that big at all. And a client took advice and didn't take a, a case seriously and faced an indictment, went through trial, or pled guilty, and did real time in a real federal jail for something that millions of other people did the exact same thing. Now at Parent, Parent and Win, the IRS medic, we aren't criminal trial attorneys. What we do is we work with some of the best attorneys around the country to give them the trial support that they need. There is a whole bunch of compliance work that needs to be done and there's expertise that they need that they don't have the time to get to. And also, uh, for people who want to avoid that target letter or indictment, we help them get into compliance to make the IRS go away and that threat of an indictment gone. This is Anthony Parent of Parent, Parent and Win LLP, the IRS medic. I thank you for watching. And if you are worried about an investigation or are being investigated or have been indicted, please give our hotline a call at 888-477-4258. Thanks for watching.